send today's notes. Mm -hmm. I have a copy of it. All right, so today in geometry, we're doing chapter three, section five, parallel lines and triangles. This is the notes for that. Our learning objective is to use parallel lines, but to prove a theorem about, yes, Triangle. triangles. And our other learning objective is to find measures of angles of triangles. So it's all a nice little package that goes together. Parallel lines and triangles. We're going to use parallel lines to prove theorems about triangles and to find measures of angles of triangles. So postulate 3-2 is the parallel postulate. So please go ahead and draw a parallel line on top with point P on it and line L. And then they have congruent parallel marks on them. So through a point not on a line, there is one and only one parallel line to the given line. Which means there is exactly one point through P parallel to L. This is good to know. However, the next one, triangle sum theorem, is a must know. And this is um, a must remember. So if you got a flashcard triangle sum theorem, please do that. Okay, so theorem 311, the triangle sum theorem, says the sum of the measures of the angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. Always, if it's a triangle, their angles add up to 180 degrees. So this is, the top part is how you would say it if I was to write it for an English paper. The bottom part just says measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180. Add all the three angles that they always equal 180. We'll be using the heck out of that property. All right, so let's take a little screenshot of that <laughs> so we can use it. Sounds like I got it loading around into the chambers. It's a clicky camera. It's because you guys haven't heard a clicky camera before. That's what cameras used to sound. Um, so using the triangle sum theorem, and I transfer the theorem over to this page so that we can use it. Let's look at the example problem and then we will uh, apply it on our own. You guys don't have to write down problem number one. But problem number two we will. So if you want to copy the diagram down on your paper, that is what I'll need for the diagram. Okay. So using the triangle sum theorem, what are the values of x and y in the diagram at the right? So we know that the angles in a triangle all add up to be 180. So if I know that this is 59, this little corner here where this angle A is 59, I know that this little corner here, if we just have A, D, A, B, D, so let's make that. When you have a figure that's a multi-condensed figure, go ahead and feel free to separate them out. And X. So to find X, we can say 59 plus 43 plus X equals 180. I combine my like terms. Remember when we spent all that time solving equations? This is why. I combine my like terms to get 102. And then I subtract 102 from both sides and get x equals 78. So we know that the measure of ADB, so we're, we're taking a different look. 
So we're taking a look at this line on the bottom here. So we're looking at, here's A, here's D, and here's C. So they're saying angle ADB, this guy right here, and angle CDB right here form a straight line and a straight line is 180 degrees. So they said ADB is X, which we know is 78. The other angle is Y. And when I add those together, it equals 180. Subtract 78 both, from both sides and you get Y is equal to 102. Okay, now we're going to take that information and we are going to solve for Z. So I'm going to take just BDC, B, D, C, and here is Z, and Y we found up here was 102, and we know this angle B here is 49. All right, so we're going to use this triangle sum theorem to put together a little equation. We got 49 and 102 and Z adds together to be 180. We're going to add 49 and 102 to get 151. It's equal to 180. And just double check that I've done my math correctly. 49 and 102. 9 and 2 is 11. Here's a 1. 4 and 1 is 5. And then we're going to subtract 151. 151. So we get Z is equal to 180 minus 151. Well, if it was 180 minus 150, it would be 30. But we have one less. Yeah, so it's Z is 29 degrees. All right. Uh, an exterior angle of a polygon, make sure you write that down, it's a vocab word, is an angle formed by a side and an extension of an adjacent side. So in our figure, angle one is the exterior angle in each of our diagrams. So he's right next to the, tri the triangle but on the outside. And he belongs to a line that extends off a side of the triangle. Remote interior angles are the angles on the inside, but not next to the exterior one. Remote interior angles, the two non-adjacent interior angles. So if you look, they're the ones that aren't by the one. So in this case, it's two and three. Two and three. Two and three. All right, and the good thing about um, exterior angles is they have their own formula. Yay! So there's an exterior angle formula and this says that the exterior angle is equal to the two interior angles, remote interior angles. So if you add up the two angles that are not next to your remote, your exterior one, then it equals your interior one. All right, so how do we use the exterior angle theorem. So when we're given two angles on the exterior, we um, add them up to be the interior. So if we look at problem two, in this case, we added 
to find angle one, we added 80 and 18, and it's 98. In this case, we were missing a remote interior, so we set up a little equation. 124 equals 59 plus that angle. Subtract 59 from both sides and equals 65. So let's do that for this problem together. So this is what you guys are going to write down. Two angles of a triangle measure 53. So let's draw a triangle. So I did an X and a Y. Um, it's asking, what is the measure of an exterior angle at each vertex of the triangle? Okay, so if we just look at, and I take back this calligraphy pen because he's ridiculous. So if we just look at triangles. I have X, Y, and Z. I know X plus Y plus Z is equal to 180. I know that two of those add up to be 53. So Z has to be 180 minus 53, which is 27. So what we want to do is, that doesn't really answer the question. That just finds what this angle is here. So let's redraw. Right, you're right. I'm sorry, I didn't drop down the one. It is 127. So I'm going to redraw my triangle and we're going to extend out each of the sides. So one angle is going to be 127. I know it's not drawn on the scale. And these, these two. X and Y added together are going to be 53, but this guy is going to have to be 53. Alright, so let's try this again. Here's X and Y. The remote angle this up. Let's backtrack. I got it now. I got it. I got it. Not the sum of two angles, but two angles are 53. I'm like, man, that's a really hard problem. So, um, the two angles are 53, and the third angle, we'll call it Z. So, Z is Z plus 53 plus 53 is 180. Z plus 106 is 180 minus 106 from both sides. Z is equal to, it would be 80, but minus 6 is 74. Phew. Okay, so this one, this remote angle, or this exterior angle is 53 plus 53, he's 106. This angle over here, he is 74 plus 53, which is 127. And then this angle here, he is also 53 plus 74, which is 127. Mm -hmm. 